Welcome back, Hookaholics. Um, full disclosure. Full, di full disclosure. Uh, I already opened this up because I wasn't expecting it to be what it turned out to be. Um, four days. Four days. That's remarkable. Uh, if you've been paying attention, you know that I got my Rush Tackle, uh, my Rush Tackle box, subscription box, um, five days ago, on the 1st of June. Today is now the 5th of June. Um, in the mail came this box. And uh, what happened was, during my first, you can go back and check it out, I'll leave the, the um, end of this, uh, the end screen for that video. But uh, I did my Rush Tackle Box unboxing like I do most of my other unboxings, and unfortunately they were missing one of the lures. Uh, so I contacted them with the, uh, at the end of that video as I was posting it, and uh, they immediately got back to me and said they'd be, they, you know, they were so sorry that they had skipped one lure, and they were going to ship out the lure um, ASAP. I thought, okay, that's great. So I'm expecting, you know, a little envelope or a little package or something, and I thought, okay, maybe... I see this on the doorstep, and I'm like, okay, maybe they just threw it in here with some paper, because obviously, it, you know, they have tons of these boxes. No. Rush Taco Box did a solid. They sent me out a full secondary um, June Rush Taco Box subscription. So, to make up for a box that was faulty, they shipped me out a full box. Um, with that in mind... I gotta say, you know, that's above and beyond the Call of Duty. I would have simply expected a smaller package with just the missing lure, uh, a letter of, you know, consolidation as to why, you know, we're sorry, yada yada. But uh, this is commendable that they literally just took one another shipment off the box and, and shipped me out a fresh one. Um, so I do appreciate that. So let's take two of the June uh, <laughs> Rush Taco Box uh, subscription. So even though we've done the first one, I can go through and run these one more time. As always, Rush Tackle Box, just like all the other subscriptions, they have uh, What's in Your Box card, which uh, if you saw the other video, you should already know what's in here. Uh, we'll go through it anyway. And they have stickers, and this time I got a bunch of stickers. So, a uh, similar sticker from the last time. Um, I got that really cool one uh, with the fish and the rope nautical theme. I got a uh, hooking for food sticker, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, obviously, the skeleton uh, figure. I like that one. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, this is a nice little one. A guy on the bank uh, pulling in a fish with the uh, multicolor rainbow. I like that. Uh, go fishing sticker. It's not bad. And New York Bass Man. So, all my New York guys out there, there's one for y'all. And uh, that's all I see on the top for stickers. So. Let's get to it. <clears throat> the missing lure from the first box is the Freedom Lures $10.99 spinnerbait. So this is what was missing in my, in my previous uh, unboxing. So they shipped the entire box just to include the one that I had missed. The cool thing about Freedom Lures, uh, their heads are like a swing head design. So uh, you can interchange, the, you can change out the hooks. They have a very intricate system where they have like a hook corkscrew loop so that you can actually take the hook eye and rotate it around inside that cup and you'll see there's like a corkscrew that you can actually undo this with some doing. Um, obviously don't make it too easy so it doesn't just pop out when you hook a fish but you can pop this out change off to a different hook if you want say uh, you know a different worm hook or, or you wanted to change to a more stout hook you can do that with the Freedom Lures heads. Uh, it's got a corkscrew keeper so that you can texpose your, your trailer, if you choose to put a trailer on here. Um, nice silicone skirting. This has got the double willow blades on there, uh, gold and silver. So they got one for bulk and, and vibration, one for extra flash. Uh, so really, this is pretty good because you've got one that works in clear or stained water. Because that gold's going to show up very well in the stained water. And that flash is going to be really good in stained or... Uh, clear water. Another thing that I that's notable on this one um, that I just noticed and I actually do like, they've installed a little neoprene or rubber, um, basically like a rubber band, around the tie-eye area. So if you've seen some of my other videos, um, I'll clue that in on, on the end of this as well. Uh, when you have your typical spinner baits, um, a lot of other baits as well, but 
typically spinner baits, the way they make these lines, if they don't corkscrew twist the tie eye uh, on some of the more premium brands they do, but if they just do this standard bend, L bend, uh, you can have a knot that'll actually ride down and then you'll start pulling it this way or the knot can slip, you know, your tire line on and that knot can slip up if you don't cinch it properly and now you're, you're dragging the, the bait this way and it'll change the cadence in action uh, to something less desirable. So I have um, come up with some solutions. The best one that I've ever come up with, uh, I posted a video on how to do that using shrink, uh, shrink tubing and uh, I'll list that at the end of this as well. Uh, but they've done just as equally a good idea, which is putting a little rubber band here um, to prevent that that knot that you tie here, your line, be it your monofilament or braid or what have you, from running down or running off uh, this tie-eye section to keep it running true and to keep it balanced. Nice, so again, silicone, you got that shad. I wonder what color do they call this? They call this blue shad. Well, duh. So you got a little chartreuse, you got that shad color uh, pattern. That's awesome. $10.99. Next, the Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider. $11.99. Again, another Black Widow version. I have almost every color, I think. I think I might be shy one, one single color uh, variant of this spider uh, series from Lunker Hunt. Great little top water. This is top water season, so that's awesome. Uh, I have somebody out there who's going to receive this in the mail in a couple of days. So uh, look, look out for that. You know who you are. Uh, next, the Exxon's Blitzworms. All right, we got a different color. The first one I think was black or what? Or blue. Uh, this time we've got the Blitz worms. They're a curly tail worm at 11 inches, and this is watermelon candy. Keep this short and sweet. So you've got this really nice 10-inch Mondo flat pour curly tail worm, and the watermelon candy with that green and purple flake in there um, gives it that shimmer. Obviously. Great for this time of year. Those fish that have been starving themselves out there in the spawn are, are just ravenous for food. Big baits are now the time to go. Um, that's $6.49. Bait clouds inserts. Again, I talked about this. Oh, there's some more stickers in there. Uh, the, uh, the little bait clouds inserts are similar to what I've used to do with uh, color chalk or Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer and the flavored gels uh, for scent attractants. Um, just as a another way to uh, sort of chum and convince the fish to stay bait, biting on your bait. Um, bait clouds inserts nine dollars and ninety nine cents. As a hit or miss item, let's jump into this because I saw these on the bottom here. I didn't realize they got some more stickers in here. Happiness is sticker. That's another repeat we got. Uh, Dad the fisherman, the myth, the legend. Another cool sticker. And uh, oh yeah, here we go. We get this another another one. Stay in school, kids, or skip it and go fishing. Another cool sticker. So they load this thing with, with cool little decals. Uh, X-Zone, uh, number five, four on the list. X-Zone, five on the list. X-Zone Lures, this is the six inch sticks. Uh, up, we got these again. So, bubblegum, again, good for, my personal favorite is white and bubblegum is for sight fishing, bed fishing. But uh, bubblegum also works all year round. It works pretty good as a, you know, stained water lure as well. So bubblegum Senkos by X-Zone. Uh, these are the six inch true center stick. Again, they have that little delineated uh, uh, flat line there to tell you exactly where that mid range is for balancing the weight of the lure uh, so that that soft plastic balances nicely if you're going to wacky rig it. I do appreciate that. And finally, the sixth and final one again, the Lunker Hunt Leech. We had this in black last time. This time I have been given what's called Meat Locker. Again, this is basically a watermelon candy. Uh, it's got purple, gold, and black flake inside of a watermelon or green pumpkin uh, color soft plastisol. And again, like I said, it's just a flat, thin piece of plastic. Emulates a leech. Great Texas rigged. Great wacky rigged. Uh, drop shotted because this will just kind of flutter. So there's that. Uh, great for small mouth, the leeches as well. Because they're a, a small profile. But they still give off a lot of cues to the fish to bite. So uh, one more time, I'd like to thank uh, Rush Tackle Box for upholding their honesty and, and supporting subscribers like me. Um, wasn't expecting a full box. I was just expecting, you know, an envelope from them with a package with just the spinner bait. So uh, I have to give them a little bit of extra credit for sending out a complete second round. 
So uh, I get the benefit of having a crap load of bubble gum boards. <laughs> but nevertheless, I can always appreciate it. You can never have too many soft plastics. Uh, you can always have too, too few. As always, uh, I appreciate you spending some time for me, uh, with me. Um, from me to all of you, stay safe out there. Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't already, subscribe and share my channel and my content. If you like anything throughout my library of videos, uh, please comment on them. Tell me things that you see or like, dislike, any interesting questions. If I can answer them, I try to. Uh, as always, uh, I'll catch you on the next cast. Bye, Hookaholics. Peace.